everyone, it's Alex Alright, and in this video I'm gonna show you how to create face rig using Alright Rig 2.0. In this video I'm gonna use boy character from the kite demo. You can find this character in Alright Rig examples project that you can download from Alright Rig documentation page. Ok, here I have a new level, and I'm gonna add kite boy character to this level. I can find boy character under examples, characters, kite demo folder. Now let's open Alright Rig window. I'm gonna use main rig preset that was created in Alright Rig basic tutorial. We just need to change anim class variable to boy anim blueprint. On how to create anim blueprint, please refer to Alright Rig basic tutorial. Let's create rig. Manikan preset works for kite demo character because they have the exact same skeleton. Let's save rig settings as kite space rig. Now let's go back to face rig data and enable face. Head bone. Here we need to set our head bone. Head controller name. So here we will have a lot of controllers that we will need to attach to some controller. Head controller name property lets you to choose this controller. In our case it will be this controller. This controller has name head fk. Now we can go to eye settings and enable eyes. Here we need to specify eyeball names. Let's open our skeleton. Here I have eye left bone that drives eye. Eye left. The same for the right eye. Eye right. Let's recreate the rig. Now we can see eyes controllers. After we have eyes rig, we can create rig for eyelids. Let's enable eyelids. In order eyelids rig to work, you need to have the exact same setup as kite boy. Your character need to have upper eyelid bones that drive upper eyelids. The same with lower eyelid bones. For left upper eyelid property, we have eyelid upper left bone. Same for the right. For left lower eyelid, we have eyelid lower left. Same for the right. Don't forget to save your preset from time to time. Let's recreate rig. Now we have eyelid controllers. You can change size and position of those controllers in eyelid settings. Now eyelids will be half driven by eyes controllers and full driven by eyelids controllers. You can also see this big square controller. It holds eyelid controllers and more target controllers and attached to controller that was specified in head controller name property. You can change shape and position of this controller in face table shape and face table offset properties. Now let's go and create more target controllers. Let's add a new item. And first I need to specify the name of this controller. Let's create morph controllers for mouth. Now I'm gonna go to morph targets array and add four items here. First item will be name of morph target that will be activated when I will move controller in positive x direction. Now let's open skeletal mesh asset and here we need to find morph target that is responsible for movement of mouth to the left. In our case it will be head mesh mouth left. Let's see. You can copy names and paste it here. Let's recreate rig. Now we can see this controller on the middle. And if we will move this controller to positive x direction, it will activate this morph target. Let's finish this controller setup. So second item will be responsible for activating morph target when I will move controller to negative x. 
so it should be the same morph target but with ending right next item is responsible for activating morph target when i move controller to positive z direction in our case it will be head mesh mouse up copy paste the opposite will be head mesh mouth down let's also change position of this controller by modifying transform property i want to offset this controller a little bit down let's try minus 5 on z and let's also change the shape of this controller and set color to yellow let's recreate rig now we have yellow controller here that is responsible for the mouse movement okay now i'm going to create controller for the left eyebrow let's go to our morph controllers and add new item here name of controller will be left eyebrow Let's add four items to morph targets array. For positive x direction, I'm gonna use eyebrow smash bro raise out L morph target. For negative x, I'm gonna use eyebrow smash bro lateral L. For positive z, I'm gonna use eyebrow mesh bro raise in L. For negative z, I'm gonna use eyebrow mesh bro down L. Let's save preset and recreate rig. Now we can see this controller on the middle. Positive x, negative x, positive z, negative z. I can see that this controller drives only eyebrow hair mesh. Sometimes you may have rig where blend shapes for different meshes are separated. In this case, I'm gonna add four more items to morph targets array. And if I will go back to skeletal mesh, I can find duplicated morph targets for skin mesh. They have the same names, but they start with head mesh bro prefix. So here I need to duplicate those morph targets in the same order. Positive X, negative X, positive Z, negative Z. So head mesh bro raise out L will be for positive X. Lateral L for negative x, raise in L for positive z, and down L for negative z. Let's also change transform offset for this controller. For x it will be 3, and for z it will be 6. Also I'm gonna add this controller a little bit bigger, 0.15. Let's save preset and recreate the rig. So here I have controller for the left eyebrow. Now it drives both meshes. Sometimes you might have only one morph target for your controller. Let's add controller for nose. Left nose. Add four items. And let's say we have only one morph target for positive Z direction for nose. So positive X will be none, negative X will be none, Positive Z will be head mesh nose wrinkle L and negative Z will be none. Let's recreate the rig. Here I have my nose controller. It will work only in positive Z direction. Also, I may notice that eyebrow mesh doesn't move. Let's go and fix it. Again, four new items. One, two, three, four. Positive X, negative X positive z eyebrows mesh nose wrinkle l negative z none let's recreate rig you can create face rig not only using morph targets but you can also use bones just add custom controllers for them in custom controllers array for example kite skeleton has jaw bone that affects jaw vertices let's add custom controller for this bone Bone name jaw. Parent this controller head FK. 
Let's create rig. Now we have controller for jar. In order to see all kite face rig, let's load kite rig preset. And let's create rig. Sometimes you may need to change hierarchy of your controllers after creation of the rig. If we close our modular and face rig data, we can find this post parent controllers array. And we can find one item in this array. For example, if I want to attach all these lips controllers to the main mouth controller, I will set up parent controller as mouth and all these controllers as child controllers. And every time when you will recreate the rig, you will get this hierarchy. Okay, that's all for today. I wish you a good mood and everything to be alright.